So there's a guy by the name of Jefferson Bethke who just put out a poem called uh, I Hate Religion, But I Love Jesus. And uh, it's getting quite popular. It has uh, over 600,000 views as of the making of this video. By the time I upload this video, it'll probably have over a million. And uh, it seems like everyone likes it. Seems like it's pretty fucking popular. Everyone's like, yeah, fuck religion, woo, but yay, Jesus. So, um, let's hear what he has to say. What if I told you Jesus came to abolish religion? I would have to say that that doesn't seem very accurate. I mean, let's be real here. If Jesus was as the Bible described him, then he was constantly preaching in front of thousands of people. And he wasn't just preaching a philosophy, he was preaching that he himself was divine, that he was the Son of God, that through him God worked miracles. Not only did he preach to thousands of people, but he had an entourage of 12 men who had given up all of their worldly possessions to follow him around and obey his edicts. I mean, let's just put it into perspective. Let's say that I did that. Let's say I got on my YouTube channel tomorrow and said, hey guys, I know I've been calling myself the Amazing Atheist, but actually I'm not an atheist anymore. It turns out that I'm the Son of God, and you should follow me. Uh, everything I say is no longer just the opinions of a piddling little man, but the opinions of an all-knowing being. So you better listen to me. That is religion. So right out of the gate, I'm not buying the premise, but we'll give the rest of it a chance. What if I told you voting Republican really wasn't his mission? What if I told you Republican doesn't automatically mean Christian? Yeah, uh, well, I buy that because Jesus didn't know what a fucking Republican or a Democrat was. He was living in an entirely different time, with entirely different politics. There were no political parties, people were still ruled by kings. So, of course, Jesus wasn't trying to get you to vote Republican. The very concept of voting was probably foreign to him. I mean, if religion is so great, why has it started so many wars? Why does it build huge churches, but fails to feed the poor? Yes, that's true. Religion has started a lot of wars, and they do build opulent palaces of gold while people are starving in the streets. So those are fair criticisms of religion. So I guess my question at this point in the poem is, what exactly is the difference between Jesus and religion? That's the whole premise of the poem, is that religion is one thing, Jesus is something else. So where do you back that up? Now let me clarify, I love the church, I love the Bible, and yes, I believe in sin. <sighs> let me get this shit straight. You love the church. I love the church. You believe in the Bible. I love the Bible. You believe in sin. And yes, I believe in sin. You believe that Jesus is the Son of God, and only through him can you be saved. But the Son of God never supports self-righteousness, not now, not then. Which means I don't have to hide my failure, I don't have to hide my sin. Because it doesn't depend on me, it depends on him. But what you don't believe in is religion. Well, forgive me, sir, but what the fuck have you subtracted from religion? If you're still gonna buy into the church and the Bible and the notion of Jesus' divinity and the notion that you can only be saved through him, then what have you given up? What have you subtracted from that equation to change it from religion to Jesus? Religion minus what equals Jesus? Fill in the fucking blank for me, sir. Because I'm not seeing it. I don't understand. And by the way, what the fuck is sin, exactly? I'm a little confused. Sin is when you break God's rules. The rules outlined in the Bible, which you believe in. So, you have to accept Jesus in order to not be punished for breaking the rules that were made by God, who is Jesus. Now back to the point, one thing is vital to mention. 
how Jesus and religion are on opposite spectrums. Ah, oh, all right, finally. This is the part I've been waiting for. The part where you outline the concrete differences between Jesus and religion. I'm sorry I got a little mad a second ago. I didn't know that there was going to be a part that you dedicated to my questions. Uh, let's hear it. See, one's the work of God, but one's a man-made invention. See, one is the cure, but the other's the infection. That's meaningless! That's just a declarative statement! Oh, you know, I, this could be Coke's new marketing scheme. That Coke could fuck, come out with a marketing scheme that says, there's Coke, and then there's fucking soda. Soda sucks. Coke is awesome. And then people be like, isn't Coke a soda? People are like, nah, man. No, Coke's different than soda. Here's some reasons why. See, one is the cure, but the other's the infection. Coke is the cure. Soda is the infection. See, because religion says do. Jesus says done. Soda says do. Coke says done. Religion says slave. Jesus says son. Soda says slave. Coke says son. Religion puts you in bondage while Jesus sets you free. Soda puts you in shackles. Coke sets you free. Religion makes you blind, but Jesus makes you see. Soda makes you blind. Coke lets you see. You see how it all just seems like this fucking slick marketing campaign? I wonder if that could be because it is a slick marketing campaign. I don't blame you for not liking religion. We all hate religion. Everyone at my church where we go to worship Jesus hates religion. What we have is not religion. It's a personal relationship with Jesus. Well, isn't that fucking special? Which is why salvation is freely mine and forgiveness is my own. Not based on my merits, but Jesus' obedience alone. That's right. Nothing that an individual person does matters. Nothing that you do in this world means anything. It's all about Jesus. Oh, you helped out at a soup kitchen? Big fucking deal. Do you believe in Jesus yet? That's what the real shit is. It's all about Jesus. Who gives a fuck? Oh, you helped people. You helped an old lady cross the street. Wow. Well, you want a fucking medal? Come back when you got some Jesus. Because he took the crown of thorns and the blood dripped down his face. He took what we all deserved. I guess that's why you call it grace. He took what we all deserved? We all deserve to be beaten and nailed to some sticks? We all deserve to burn in hell for all eternity? We all deserve that? Who the fuck deserves this? I can't think of one person. I can't think of anybody. I can't think of a single fucking solitary human being that I've ever met that I think deserves to be beaten and nailed to some fucking sticks. And even if I could think of someone who deserved that, I can't think of anyone. Not even fucking Joseph Stalin or Adolf Hitler who deserves to burn for all time. Maybe Hitler deserves to burn for like 50 years. But at some point, you say, okay, mercy. God wants you to burn forever if you believe in hell. And apparently this does because it's saying that we're going to be saved from something. And what can you be saved from if not hell? And while being murdered, he yelled, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. Because when he was dangling on that cross, he was thinking of you. Yeah, he was thinking of you. You, specifically. You, the person watching this video. Jesus was beaten the fuck out of and nailed to some sticks. And as he sat there bleeding and suffering and dying, he was thinking about you, Josh, or you, Kyle, or you, Sarah. He was thinking about you fucking specifically. How can you not have faith in that? How can you not believe that, folks? Jesus loves you. Is it really so much to ask that you just love him back a little bit? That you just say, yeah, I love Jesus too. He suffered for you, you fucking pricks. Be grateful. Be fucking grateful. So for religion, no, I hate it. In fact, I literally resent it. Oh, you literally resent it, as opposed to figuratively resenting it. <laughs> um, I don't know, man. 
I, I, I remain unconvinced by the premise of this poem. The premise that you're talking about something that's not religion. Something that is uniquely different from religion. At the end there, you even say at one point, religion is man searching for God, but Christianity is God searching for man. Religion is man searching for God, Christianity is God searching for man. I think that's pretty fucking telling, because you start off saying Jesus and religion are different things, but by the end of the poem, you're saying that Christianity and religion are different things. They're not. When you have a belief structure that says that you have sinned, you have done something wrong by virtue of your very existence, and the only way to redeem yourself is through a man who lived and died 2,000 years before you were fucking born. And you gotta go to church, and there's this book called the Bible, it's full of a lot of neat stuff. You gotta believe all that, and then you can go to heaven after your sin of being born is forgiven. If not, well, then I hope you like it hot. Because it's going to be pretty fucking hot where you're going. And by the way, another thing about your poem that just rubs me the wrong way is this notion that the Old Testament was full of all this meanness and nastiness, but the New Testament, that's when you got cuddly old Jesus. And Jesus isn't so much a religion as he is your pal. Like, you could sit there and play Xbox with Jesus, you know? I mean, sure, he'd always beat you because he's perfect in every way, but still, he would play with you because he's your buddy, he's your pal. And Matthew 10.34 kind of contradicts that a little bit. Jesus says in Matthew here, and remember, you believe in the Bible, Jefferson, so think not that I am come to send peace on earth. What's that? Jesus doesn't believe in peace on earth? I am not to send peace, but a sword. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father, and the daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and a man's foes shall be they of his own household. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me, and he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me, and he that taketh not his cross and followeth after me is not worthy of me. So this is a guy that literally says to us, love me more than you love your son or your daughter or your mother or your father. You know what I would say to a guy like that if he walked up to me on the street and told me that I had to love him more than my own family? I would tell him to go fuck himself. And you know what difference it makes that his name is Jesus and he supposedly died for my sins according to some 2,000-year-old book of desert stories and according to priests and pastors and demagogues the world over. You know what difference that makes to me? None. I tell Jesus, go fuck yourself. I love my family thousands of times more than I could ever love you, even if I believed that you really did what these people and this book claims that you did. My name is the Amazing Atheist, and unlike Jesus, I really did come to abolish religion. I come not to bring a sword, but peace.